what's going on YouTube. Today's video is going to be my experience and my opinion about the CSI Expo. For the CSI Expo, I participated in three tournaments. It was the BCA 8-Ball Scotch Doubles, the 8-Ball Singles, and the Team Event. The Scotch Doubles and the Team Event was in the Silvers Division, and my Singles was in the Gold Division. For the 8-Ball Scotch Doubles, I played with my partner and it was actually a good experience because we were in the Silvers Division. It wasn't as stressful as I thought it would be. I actually enjoyed it and I met a lot of people and a lot of pool players that was actually into pool. For the singles, that's where it was a little bit more stressful because in the goals division, especially when I was playing, um, when you leave an open table, your opponent can do a table run and when that opponent is breaking on you, that opponent can also break and run on you. For the team event, it was my first time and overall first time going to Vegas and they told me it was a lot different because we did a round robin style, meaning that we played five matches. So it was a three day event and you had to play different teams and the best teams would qualify to the next stage. Unfortunately, we did not qualify to the next stage um, we had some couple losses, therefore we didn't have enough points to go to the next stage. But overall the experience itself was actually really good, especially if you're a pool player and you like playing pool. But here's the thing, what I also think about um, going to the expo, and my, this is my opinion, is the time and the money spent, is it really worth going to the expo? To me, it was not worth it because I could have I could have spent all that money into some into something more productive. I could actually did stuff in um, my local pool hall and played in their tournaments if I wanted to compete, or I could have just bought bought stuff and work on my uh, projects, such as if you, I will have a video coming up, it's going to be on my CNC, and and have more practice with friends just just having I did 11 days over there and I think in my opinion I think um, I'm not gonna do it again for next year you get some cool stuff like here's some of the stuff you get when you go to the BCA uh, CSI Expo I'll give you some stickers some cards you can go around and get some things for stamps so you can get to the raffle the jam up was there, especially Predator, because it was a uh, the Predator Temple event was there in the Las Vegas Open, and you get a microfiber cloth and one carbon fiber shaft company. If you give them the information, they will give you a free glove. So that's my opinion. Um, it was good. I enjoyed it, but not worth going back. And I can say I did it. So here are some tricks and tips for you. If you go, if you want to go next year, because they already have the dates. If you go to Playpool CSI, it's going to be play playcsipool.com. You go to their homepage and it'll go scroll all the way down to the bottom. I'll have this all on the link. You will see the future schedules. So February 19 to March 1st, 2025 is going to be when it starts. And if you also scroll on their homepage, you will see the hotel reservations. I did not stay at the Rio where it was hosted. I stayed at the Hilton. It was right beside Westgate uh, Resort and, and Casino. It was um, a timeshare that my, my sister used, used and I want to thank my sister for letting me use her timeshare. It, was, um, it saves a lot of money because you're not actually paying for a hotel. So if you also look at the um, the homepage, it tells you the schedule of the events. So it started off on the 21st of February and you'll have your fair single, fair match eight ball singles and your nine ball singles. And then on the 22nd, that's when I started playing because I arrived on the 21st. And then on the 22nd, I played scotch double eight ball with my partner. And that goes all the way to the 27th. On Saturday, 24th of February that's when the singles eight ball started and you have the senior eight ball 
and the ladies single eight ball and that's where you will play your individual events and if you get knocked out on a Monday you can do a second chance eight ball and then on Wednesday the 28th that's when we did the team events they also have ladies team event and they have the second chance on Friday on Friday it's up around 1 o'clock Las Vegas time that's when you know if you actually qualified to play for the next the next stage I did not play the nine ball teams and I did not also play any of the mini tournaments they had a lot of the mini tournaments the mini tournaments were uh, single elim eliminations and I did not also play in the CSI's um, events so when you go to the home page you can see they have the dress codes, the en entry forms, the tournament regulations, and the player's guide. So it has a lot of information. Also, it also tells you on the tournament division, you can actually look, your, look up your opponent and you can look at their Fargo and see, see where they stand and where you stand and how you can play. You can play the person or the table. And then they had the CSI division, of course, and of course your BCA. So that tells you the teams and the individual. The biggest thing, also when you play in the teams, uh, not the teams, the singles, this happened to one of our, um, our friends that went down there. He went to the B side and they posted his schedule. Cause once you, once you finish your match, you'll actually know when your next match is. If you have it on the winner's side, the A side, or you have it on the loser side, the B side, it'll tell you exactly when. You have to be, you have to know, and you have to be up to date on this. Because what happened to him is he had a match scheduled for 9 p.m. on Las Vegas time. And suddenly they moved it to a 5 p.m. match. And unfortunately, he didn't do a a uh, uh, screen capture where you can look at the page and then save it this is one of the biggest things they told him you should uh, save it and you can contest it so that's one of the biggest advice I can give you or suggest for you guys to do is like once you get your matches just take a screenshot of it and that will tell you what time you're playing what day you're playing and what tables you're playing because you they will every every time you're late it's a game it's a game penalty also when you play a little bit slower than normal because I admit I play a lot slower when I play eight ball than rotation um, it's a thinking game so you are allowed like two hours the ref will go around and look at your score sheet and see where you're at and if the time is coming close and I have one of the videos where I did live and you can hear me saying, hey, it's a hill hill match, my break, because the ref said, hey, if we don't start the rack, you guys are lagging for the win. So that's one of the things, uh, one of my friend also had to do a lag. They extended the two hours, they had a lag, and unfortunately he lost on a lag. His opponent actually lagged, a like perfect lag, where it was almost like ball in hand on the rail. So it's some of the experience that you'll have. But if you're a fast player and your opponent's a fast player, you won't ha you won't be running into that. But so some of the things um, to look at, you can also reserve the Rio Hotel on the web page, and you can actually reserve also Westgate. But for all the stuff you get and all the things I have done, especially like this is why I did all my um, recording for live videos, which helped a lot because um, you'll see a lot of um, tripods. And you just put your phone and now I actually know how to do on YouTube horizontal not just vertical and of course you must have a battery bank because your phone will die automatically because I had one video where my phone because my battery bank wasn't charging my phone and just it just cut off but so here are some of the stuff as you can see on the table and I gave you some information on the BCA of the um, CSI Expo Hopefully this video was informative and if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below and hit the like button. And thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe me. Don't forget the thumbs up. Bye bye.
What's going on YouTube? Today's video is going to be about the beast. Uh, 